So I have put my initials and I have my name and I've looked at the app, I've already installed it, I've spent time playing with it, I'm ready to review. So I come to the blue link and I open up the review form. So it should have my initials, it has the app name, the Google priority level. We want to make sure that we're doing the higher priority level apps first. Um, the Q app code, the app ID, that should all be pre-populated. I'm going to yes, continue reviewing the app. And it's really important that I leave comments um, based on my thought process as to why I'm reviewing an app the way I'm reviewing it. And I'm not giving a review that's going public. So in this case, I go comments. Um, this app is fantastic for teachers to use as a replacement, as a whiteboard. Um, IWB, easy to use, nice interface, uploads to Evernote. All teachers will want this. So I'm justifying any of the choices that I'm going to make. So you should be familiar with the entire form. Um, the comments are up front to um, help you to just kind of jump in there and get your thoughts down right away. But any boxes that you're checking, you're basically justifying them. Why do you say it's critical thinking? Why do you say that it's, uh, I don't know, maybe certain grade levels? Um, but all the things that you would put down, you want to justify your thought process. So kind of a running uh, mental blog of, of what you were thinking as you were going through the app. Um, you might even just want to have this open while you're going through the app so that as you think it, you type it. So I hit continue, just like in the old one. And just like in the old form, I'm going to recommend the reading. In this case, it's Sketch, so I'm going to give it a five. Um, it should be very rare very rare that you give a five. Those are apps that should be featured. These are exemplars of what Android can do. And click continue. And then I say, so what grade levels? Um, and I just notice a typo. It should have K through 12 listed on there. Um, and you really would only mark K through 12 if um, if the app is good for kindergarten through 12th grade, truly. Um, in this case, I would say that um, it's kindergarten through 12th grade. I w I'm only going to do the one because I'm actually going to have to go back and fix this form. So pretend it says K-12 so I don't have to check all 13 checkboxes. The intended use of the app. Who uses this app? Teachers do. It's a tool that teachers use. Um, it's not an app for the teacher. That's an important distinction. Now, do students use Sketch? Yes, they could. Is that who you really think is going to use it without squinting? Is it a student tool? Yeah, I would really like my students use annotating things with Sketch. So I think in this case, it can be a student tool. But again, very rare there would be both. This does not teach anything. It does not reference or research information like an atlas. It's not review drill like a worksheet. Um, student tools on there twice, that'll have to be fixed. Um, and differentiation, um, you check that as you realize that it is a tool that will help teachers differentiate. Now, Sketch is a tool. Does the tool enable critical thinking? No. Uh, communication. Now, communication allows them to communicate their ideas, and I think, yes, that Sketch would allow students to do that. Does it allow them to collaborate? Well, the Evernote portion might but the Sketch app itself does not. Um, creativity and innovation. Um, well, they're annotating pictures and kind of drawing on there, but I, I don't know that it actually fits the definition of what would be um, innovating things. So I'm going to skip that one. Is the app ad free? Yes. Does it ask for student identifiers? No. Continue. Primarily, is this tool a tool or curriculum? Primarily, it is a tool. Actually, entirely, it is a tool. And so what that means uh, for the tool or curriculum app is that it would, um, it could be both, but up front, it mostly addresses teaching or supporting teaching. So um, in this case, it's a tool it's supporting teaching. Primarily, this app would address, so I have a list of curriculum that it might address, which of course it is not a curriculum app at all, so I wouldn't choose any of those. 
And so then I look through here, the tools list, and which one best describes how you would uh, mark Sketch. Now Sketch has several different features, so you might uh, want to do multiple things, but your number one way that you would classify Sketch would be a, um, I think it's annotations, right? It allows me to annotate on top of pictures and some different things like that. So I would choose annotations. And now you can leave that. You don't have to do a second, third, fourth, or fifth category. If you feel strongly that it should have been more than one category, then you can use those, but please do not feel pressured. Don't try and fit things into multiple categories. We want them to clearly fall into other categories. Um, so, sec you know, ranking them, my second thing that I would pick um, might be uh, photo editing, possibly. And a creation tool, possibly. It right, allows students to create um, some tutorials, some lessons. Can I apply the Common Core? No. And be careful about an, a, an app, a curriculum, or a tool as something that supports the uh, Common Core as opposed to actually being the Common Core. So careful on that. No, this app does not apply to the Common Core. And then I can just click Submit and Finish.